Hey everybody, this is Nikki. I'm here to do a reading for you all. This is a collective reading. Um, if you're waiting for personals and freestyle readings, those will be coming out, okay? I thank you all for, for, um, for sponsoring that sale. It's still going on to the end of the month. The only difference is the $10 sale is going up to $15. It's still going to be a 20-minute reading. I'm just bumping it up $5 because I have so many people waiting, for, waiting in line for this reading, okay? Oh, so we're going to get started here. Uh, this is going to be a collective timeless reading. It's going to be, if you had a chance to talk to your person, to your ex, about your your true feelings, how would it affect them? So if you wanted to tell your person something, if you if you made a phone call or if you sent a text message, or, or however, talk to the person who's on your mind and who's in your heart. If you had a chance to talk to this person and tell this person how you truly feel, the good, the bad, and the ugly, how would it make them feel or how would they respond, okay? Messages here for the collective. How would the, your person feel by hearing the truth from you? How would your person feel by hearing your true feelings? Everything, just everything, anything you want to talk to them about, how would it truly make them feel? How would it affect them, okay? All right, collective, let's get rolling. We got the Page of Pentacles, Justice. I would think that they would understand, you know, um, how would they feel by hearing you tell them your true feelings. I mean, by really listening and them, them really listening and you, them really hearing you out. Oh, the emperor. Them really hearing you out. He conflicted in their mind about it, though. You know, um, it's like you're going to fuck them up, excuse me, you're going to blow their mind, you're going to blow their mind, because they're going, I can't believe I messed up such a beautiful thing, you know, because previously they were giving to you very little, and there was a decision made to end the connection, to end the relationship, and you've contacted this person, or you've spoken to this person, and, and they listened to you, and when they listen to you say what you, what it is that you wanted to say, they got really upset in, in their mind. Why did they get upset? Because they finally, finally understood where you were coming from. They finally understood how much they hurt you. They finally understood. Period. They finally understood. They finally understand. Okay? How are your person's feelings? I mean, you tell this person how you feel and, and how they made you feel about what wrong they did to you and how it affected you. How did it affect them by affecting you? Got the Four of Swords. And they're really, really resting on this, on what you said to him or what you said to her. They're thinking really, really hard about it. You were a dime piece to this person. You were the one for this person. Okay? But it's a burden. This person is, is carrying a burden because they finally realized what they did to you. They finally fucked things up between you and them. They messed up their happy home. They messed up and they are sick. And and the reason why they're so sick now is they didn't really put a thought in it. It's about all it's a, it was about them, what they felt, what their needs, what their desires, what they didn't think about your feelings, wants, needs, and desires. They just walked out or cheated or the relationship ended or they ghosted you. However, they didn't think about your feelings. They thought about their feelings, okay, until you said, until you talked to them and told them your truth. And then they realized, like, man, I messed up. I gave this person very little, but he or she meant so much to me, okay? Now, they're in high priestess status now because they're like, ah, I should have known. I, I just messed up, you know. Now, they're starting to get all these downloads from the universe, pump, 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 letting, reminding them of the stuff that they did wrong to you. Now they're starting to see the light and understand how what they did to you, how hurtful that was to you. They know that they messed up. The best thing. Him, you can be strong as you want to be, but you hurt me. You walked out of the relationship and you messed up a happy thing. We could have had a happy family. Uh, we had we could have had a beautiful situation, but you walked away or the relationship ended. Okay? Because they weren't prepared to give their true emperor self or empress. They walked away. Or the relationship ended. But how are they feeling now? After talking to you. Got the star card here. 
and walking away. They realized, you know, they need to find themselves again. They 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 realize that they need to find themselves. They need to reevaluate the way they talk to people, the way they handle relationships, and, they, and the way they handle love. Got to start with self love first, Mister Emperor or Empress, because you keep get this person gave very little Page of Cups energy, okay? But now, since you conversated with this person, you've talked to this person. It's it's like okay, so we got here. Listen. Hold on. Eight, this is Eight of Cups, right? So what's after Eight of Cups? Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. That's what Nine of Cups is, right? Wish fulfillment. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight of Cups, right? Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So you've talked to this person, okay? This person gave you very little, if anything, in your relationships in the past. Now that you've talked to this person, you've spoken your mind to this person, this person wants to come back to you with that ninth cup. See that? With that ninth cup. Now he, he or she wants to come back with that missing cup. Because they know your worth. They know their value. They know who you are. They know who they are. They know that they fucked up. Excuse my expression. Now they want to give you nine of cups. Now they want to give you the shit that, that, that you wanted for. Now they want to give you the stuff that you strived for. That you worked your ass off for. With this nine of pentacles. Pimping shit. Yeah. Pimping. Pimping this connection, pimping this relationship, and they didn't like how strong you were, even though they had that emperor or empress status. <sighs> mm. Now they're resting on it. Mm. Clarify this five of wands. Your person's feelings. How are they feeling after your communication with this person? What are they feeling? Mm. I, I, I just want to scream. <laughs> So after you then spilled your guts to this person, no matter if you said good things, bad things, or indifferent, you really, you really, kind of like set the tone of, and, and this person knows for a fact that they hurt you and how bad they hurt you because you finally, this person finally understands the, the the magnitude of what they did to you, and what I just say, they want to come back with that nine of cups for a higher form of a commitment, wish fulfillment. Quartz don't lie. Energy is don't. It, it, look, I've been doing readings today, y'all. <laughs> and the readings I've been doing today have been hot. But nothing like this. This person wants to come back because they finally feel, they finally know that they messed up with you. And they realize, like, damn, I got to go back and get her. I got to go back and get him. That's the love of my life. I messed up with the love of my life. How can I do something so idiotic? Mmm. <sighs> But they think that you probably have other options, though, too. You probably do. You probably should. Yeah, shit. I don't have no damn options, but I need some. It's what time? It's 2.16, y'all. I'm ready to have a drink. I'm telling you, I've been doing I've been reading all day. <laughs> so they think you have options. You're growing. You're getting better. You're getting fruitful. Probably going out more and enjoying yourself, working on yourself. Now, we, he's the empress. I mean, he's the emperor. Okay, you doing so much work on yourself. You're growing, you're thriving, you're learning new things. You're, you're, even though you still may have feelings for this dude, this cat, or whoever this is, you may still have feelings for him because you spoke your peace, you've spoken your truth, and now that you've spoken your peace, peace and your truth, you can grow. You're, this is a, a way for you to to cleanse your emotions and put this shit on the wayside. Why? Because that toxic energy, you're not holding that shit in no more. You told that emperor just what he did to you, how he made you feel. Ain't no shame in telling this jackass how he hurt how he hurt you and the things he did to hurt your feelings and break your heart. There's no shame in, in telling this person how he made you feel, how it made you feel to, for him to hurt you. That that helped you to become the empress, stronger than ever before because you told that dude off or you told that whoever. And that made you so much stronger. Whew. Take a deep breath. Damn, damn, damn. I don't drink in the daytime, but shit, I need one right now. Whew. I mean, the energy I have going on around me right now, y'all, is very, 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 very fluid. It's just shh, all over the place. <laughs> Your person's feelings now that you were true and honest with them. 
your person's feelings now that you told them how you really feel. How are they feeling now that you finally told them your truth? How are they feeling now that you finally told them your truth? That might be the title. I see awaiting results. You got this person ground. You, you hold on. Hold on. Mm. I told you. Hold on. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. So this person here is finally getting downloads, like I said earlier, from the universe because they have this now. They they have this 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 thing that's happening to them. Finally, understanding the truth of what they did to you, the magnitude and the hurt and pain that they caused you. They're finally getting downloads through their their uh, their third eye. And here, you grounded this person. Whether you realize it or not, you knocked some sense into this punk ass dude. This person was up running around doing shit he ain't had no business doing. Whatever you said to this person, however you said it, it made this person stop. This person stopped in their place. The four of swords, they stopped. And now they're being regrounded in their understanding. The depth of how deep your pain was because of what they did to you. And now they saying, well, she hung up. I'm not talking to her no more. What is she going to do? Is she going to call me back? You know, got his, got his hands on his hips looking at his phone. Is she going to call me back looking at the clock? At his, at his watch, looking at the time, looking at his phone time. Did she call or whatever? Is he, is he going to call? Whatever. And now they figured down. She didn't say what she needed to say, so she probably moved on. Or he probably moved on without me. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. If I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I got to get this energy out of me right now. How are they feeling about you now that you told them your truth? The solar plex is in some pain. But the, but but this is pain that they've always had. They just ignored it. It's just being amplified because of the energy that they have surrounding them now because of you. Believe and succeed. And we have joy and stability. And here with this believe and succeed card, they're really, really thinking that you're going to at some point come back to them or they need to reapproach the situation to see if you're going to take them back. But your healing has started to begin. It, it, it's like it already began, but it's getting so much better. You're able to see and feel things more clearly since you finally, finally released all of that pent up emotion and anger you had inside for this person and you let this person go. Now it's time for you to just sit back and just have and just enjoy and be stable. Have you a glass of wine and just take a damn, take a deep ass breath. Take a breath. Because you reached out. You, you know what? Some people say, well, don't call them and don't contact them or whatever. And that may be the case. But sometimes it's, it's like sometimes you do feel the need to reach out. Maybe they reached out to you and you finally got a chance to tell this person. Because, look, you were probably waiting on this person, awaiting results for them to reach out. And they finally reached out to, the, to you. Or vice versa. And you were able to tell this person how you honestly felt. Not about, oh, I love you and I care about you. Not all of that stuff. All the mushy stuff. I'm talking about the real shit that made you hurt. The real shit that broke your heart. You were finally able to tell this person. And that's why this person has been regrounded. Because they sat down and they finally listened to you. You, you made this person listen. You found a way to make this person listen to you. They listened. They listened. I'm getting chills. Let me shut the hell up. <sighs> Give me one more card. How you made this person feel after you told them how you really felt. One more card and I'm done. Flow. Flow. They are finally now realizing the flow of, of your true emotions. They realize how much they hurt you. They realize like, damn, he came from the hip or she came at me from the hip and told me how I really made her feel. I'm feeling it now. They're feeling it in their heart now how they made you feel. And they don't like they don't like themselves very much. They don't make they don't like themselves very much. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm done. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to take a break <laughs> and get back to my personal readings, y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. I hope, let me know what y'all think of this because, wow. Well,